Hi everybody. Today I am doing a vegetable uh, for myself for our uh, lunch and this is uh, very very popular in uh, UP actually in Uttar Pradesh of India. A lot of people do this with just their lentil and their rice and this vegetable uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I'll show you what all I need for this. This is called Hara Pyaaz. Hara Pyaaz is in Hindi and in English this is spring onions. You know, so I've taken two bunch of spring onions that I've chopped here in this bowl. I've washed it and cleaned it nicely. Then in this bowl I have two medium sized potatoes that I have peeled and uh, you know cubed them like this and I've soaked them in cold water so that it doesn't discolor. Then again in this plate I have my uh, masala that I'm going to be using for tampering initially. So here I've taken a small red onion which is basically to give a little more sweetness to this particular vegetable. So I've roughly chopped it. Then I have about four cloves of uh, garlic that I have roughly chopped again. About three, uh, sorry, two green chilies that I have. You can add more if you will want it uh, uh, to be a little hot actually. So I've taken just two green chilies because I don't like my food very hot. Then here I have asafoetida which is hing in Hindi. So about two pinches of that. I have half a teaspoon of nigella seeds. Then I have half a teaspoon of cumin seed, which is zero, about five pinches of turmeric, which is haldi. Then I have um, red uh, chili powder here, lal mirch powder. And then here I have a color paprika powder. And yes, that's about, no. Then I have about one good teaspoon of uh, dhania powder, which is coriander powder here. So this is all that we need as in to tamper this vegetable initially and of course I have my salt here which is pink Himalayan salt like I always use and cooking oil, uh, vegetable cooking oil today I'm using. You can use mustard oil, you can use uh, uh, olive oil, uh, vegetable oil, uh, sesame oil, any oil that you normally like to cook your food in. So I'll move the camera a little back, change the angle. Okay, and now I will get my karhai that I'm going to be using. So this is my karhai here. I can move it a little back. Okay. And I'll switch on the flame. I'm adding about three tablespoons of oil here, around two tablespoons of oil actually, not three. This vegetable is good enough again for three people. So I've taken about two tablespoons of oil. This is on high flame guys and uh, I'll just heat the oil nicely. And now one by one I'm going to start putting in the masalas and you know the onion and everything one by one into the oil okay so the first thing that i'm going to add is the nigella seeds along with the cumin seeds and the asafoetida as well I'll give it a little mix. And now goes in the garlic, the onions, 
and the red chili also. So I've added onion, garlic, red uh, green chili that I'd slit, cumin seeds, asafoetida, and nigella seeds. I sauté this till the time the garlic and the onion. Garlic basically starts. Uh, you know becoming little pink in color we don't have to brown the onion or or the garlic here so just the till the time the garlic the rawness of the garlic goes away so i'm just going to saute it till then let the flame be on high don't reduce the flame The nigella seeds is a must in this vegetable because one, it gives a very nice flavor to it and of course the aroma is definitely nice and garlic also. So, it is coming together. Just keep sauteing it. And now I'm going to take the water from the potatoes and add the potatoes to the tamper. I'll add it in the oil. Mix it. And now goes in all the dry powder spices, which is your coriander powder, your red chili powder, your paprika, and your turmeric powder. So I'll mix this well. And now I'm going to add some salt. So I'm adding about one and a half teaspoon of salt. I'll give it a mix. And I will now reduce the flame to minimum and I'll cover the pot. So I've covered the pot and I've not yet mixed the green uh, pepper, the green uh, Hara Pia's spring onion that we call it. I just keep fumbling all the time. So I've not added the spring onions yet because I'm going to do that uh, after some time. We want the potatoes to kind of get cooked uh, 70%. So I'm going to cook the potatoes like this, about 70% and then add the spring onions, the green onions. I forgot to tell you one thing that uh, I need to chop one tomato also for this particular vegetable that I make and I normally always always add a uh, raw tomato to the vegetable in the end because if if there are potatoes in it because uh, if we add the tomatoes before uh, we add the potatoes to any dry vegetable the potatoes don't really get cooked well so I'll just quickly chop my one uh, tomato and then come back and open the lid and show you once the tomato potatoes are done 70 percent so I'll see you in about four to five minutes okay so now it's been almost about four minutes I'll open the lid and see if the potatoes are done so how we check is just take a knife and try you know getting it inside one of the potatoes you would know how well they are cooked so okay i have chopped one tomato and this is one good size uh, tomato i mean a medium sized tomato i would say now i'm going to add the spring onions to this give it a mix 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 and always mix from the sides 
so that whatever is cooked like the potatoes are cooked they don't really kind of break and become mushy in the vegetables. So I'm going to mix this from the sides and I'm going to cover this again for about two to three minutes. I'm not going to switch off the camera. Uh, I let it I've increase the flame a little or I would say medium high, not really high, but medium high. Uh, and the spring onion is going to leave its own water. So that is why we can increase the flame and uh, it will not really get burnt. So a little, I would say from low to medium high is what I have increased the flame to. So I let it cook for about two minutes. I'll open the lid and come and show you. I mean, I'm here only, the camera is on. So, yes, I'll open it in about two to three minutes and show you what it is looking like. Okay, now I will open the lid, have a look at the vegetable. 
if you can see the uh, spring onions has kind of left its water I will add the tomatoes to it now give it a mix and I will cover this for about five more minutes and I'll come back and show you what it is looking like in about five minutes okay so it's been about five minutes now i will open the lid and show you how the vegetable is looking as you can see it is nicely cooked and as nicely mixed with the potatoes the tomatoes everything is like nicely done i'll increase the flame and cook it for about another half a minute or so so now it is all done i'm going to switch off the flame and take this out in a bowl and show you as to how it is looking we don't add any coriander leaves to it so please do not add any coriander leaves for taste or even for garnishing I'll just take it out and show it to you. This is actually good enough uh, for four people to be very honest, not three. And uh, because you have other things also, like normally when we do Indian food, we have a curry, we have vegetable, we have a lentil. Uh, you know, so we have a yogurt right there. So this is good enough for four people and this is how the vegetable actually looks. This is very, very healthy, absolutely delicious. Please, please do try it if you are fond of vegetables like I am. Uh, I hope you've liked this video that I've done for you today. Please click on the like button do leave a comment uh, if you want me to do something else if you like this or if you want to know anything more about this particular recipe or any other recipe from india thank you for watching today have a good day bye bye